What is going on, everybody? All right. So we're going to have another whack at this uh, poor man's nitric. Uh, I've been working on the crystals. So I put some distilled water in here to absorb it. And I boiled it. So you can see that line. That's where the old crystal started. And then when I boiled, it absorbed as much of the the crystals it could when it was that hot and then as it cooled it put that much crystal back in so that is going to take quite a bit of distilled water to absorb that 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 copper sulfate so my my main objective with this poor man's nitric i want to get it down to a point where we don't have to deal with those crystals and that might not be achievable. I'm, I'm not too sure yet. So I just want to do a second test. I, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm stuck on this. And uh, I, I want to test it. So let's go ahead and test it. And we're going to go ahead and start with a very, well, at least the same amount of distilled water. So we're going to go with 400 mils of distilled water. And I did take some of the contacts out. I did take some of the contacts out so we don't have uh, all of that to deal with so here's the here's the rest of it all right let me grab some sulfuric I'm running low on sulfuric we're gonna have to grab a little bit this might be the last experiment for a while And we're gonna go ahead and fill this up. I'm gonna put 20 mils in here. All right. And we're gonna start with roughly 10. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna break out our potassium nitrate. And I'm just gonna start with a scoop of this. This might be too dilute. There's no question about that. I just want to see if we have any reaction like we did before. Um, I'm not seeing anything crazy. Oops, sorry, I had you out of the... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on the heat and we'll see what happens. We'll go from there. So going this route, I can always add more sulfuric if need to. We can always add more potassium nitrate if we need to. But my main goal is I want to see if we can avoid these crystals. Because the crystals, man, I tell you, the crystals are nice, right? The crystals are, are uh, they're usable. But the problem is, with these crystals here, is that's silver and we want the silver well to get the silver we got to go through those crystals and so right now at this temperature this solution is saturated and you can see we hardly made an impact on it so I can't say this is you know actually 750 mils because we've got solid mass here in the bat in the bottom so let's say here we've got what, 500 mils of crystals?
it's going to take quite a bit of of distilled water to get rid of those and then we're going to want to store them as crystals because of the amount of space so then we're going to have to basically evaporate all that distilled water out of there so we can get pure crystal with no silver in it entering hand mode we can see we're picking up a slight blue tint along with a little green down there might be the brass but here you can see those those bubbles from the nitric starting to do its thing all right so I put a couple of extra scoops of potassium nitrate in just to make sure that we have enough uh, in there so that we can utilize the rest of the sulfuric in theory anyway we've got a good blue solution now as we can see here well not super blue but we're definitely picking up some copper uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the sulfuric in so 10 more milliliters I'm gonna keep the top on and slowly pour it through the drain or the, the spout just so that uh, I'm also gonna keep the top on here I'll show you how I'm doing this I guess just kind of keep it as careful as possible here I'm gonna go like this so if there's any splatter it's just like that maintained all right so if you're gonna try this I definitely wouldn't suggest doing it hot Right, and we'll see what happens. Actually, let's, uh, let's take that back. We see any reaction right off the bat. We may have way too little uh, sulfuric acid in here. If I do have to end up putting more in, I'm going to wait till this solution cools. Because uh, that, what you saw there was only 10 mils it's super sulfuric sulfuric acid is super dangerous um, there's no question about that I don't see I see a little bit of a reaction going on there we go I see the bubbles happening along the side all right well let's uh, put it back on heat and see what happens So we've got this at a pretty good boil and we can see still a light tint of the fumes there um, still have quite a bit of material left let's uh, let's go ahead and pull this off and see where we're at all right so we're off of the heat plate um, we're not boiling anymore we still have some bubbles going on I'm curious if that's just heat yet or if we actually still have some reaction We're also at the point where I want to test to see if we have uh, any copper sulfate crystals formed. Well, they're not going to be formed yet, but uh, as this cools, I'm thinking we got a, a gold one right there. And maybe one right in there too. We definitely still have bubbles, so I'm saying this is still reacting. I'm going to put it on the heat, and uh, we'll just let it keep doing its thing. This may take a little while, which is no biggie. I'd rather take it a little longer, knowing we're not going to have any copper sulfate crystals. But I might be just getting my hopes up, so uh, let's uh, continue with the experiment. Right, so our solution is cooled and I'm really interested to look at these contacts because it looks like this has just attacked our copper. 
let's get a close up of this stuff. Now, if we look at this, this looks very similar. So this is the uh, sulfuric potassium nitrate method. And this is the hydrochloric potassium nitrate method. And it seems to be we're getting the same results. Well, at least with how I did it this go around. Let's get back here. Now, we still have the majority of our silver contacts, you can see, with very minimal copper left over, right? Those little copper buttons. So I would I would be really comfortable putting the rest of this in nitric and distilled water now. I mean, we've got very small amounts of copper to dissolve, and, uh, you know, I, I may include it with this batch. So this is the rest of them, because I really like the hydrochloric. So I'm going to compare the two methods. The second way I went about things, I like this, but altogether, this is easier, because all I have to do is put hydrochloric in here, and I can spoon potassium nitrate and it dissolves all the base metals no questions asked and um, if I leave a little bit of copper on here I don't have to worry about the silver being dissolved now this did the same thing I've got all of my silver contacts left over with a little bit of copper left over and I had to babysit this a whole lot more. This took a whole bunch more time than this method. And we came up with a very similar result. I am gonna try this one more go around. I did leave myself some contacts um, here. They'll need to be rinsed. But we'll try that again with another method that was brought up in the comments. So I will test that just to see now, this last batch, I didn't have to worry about any crystals whatsoever. And that, that's the main goal because, as you can see here, I've got all this solution to deal with. Now, this is, I poured some of this out into my copper cell already just because my copper cell has been evaporating some, uh, some solution. And um, I, I basically just had some space to fit this in. But I still have to deal with this. Where that other stuff, I was just able to deal into, or basically just able to put right into my uh, my stock pot my 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 stock pot with copper in it and I've got the majority of the silver right here now the pros and the cons um, I don't have to rinse this necessarily before putting it into nitric as much as I have to deal with this now this has hydrochloric in there the green and so now I have to worry about silver chloride. So this does require a couple extra rinses. However, the time to get in this and the time it took to get this, this was way faster. So I think this is my new favorite way. I will continue trying this just to see if we can get a different method. Maybe... Um, uh, you know, a little faster method with that, but this works excellently. What is going on, everybody? Uh, so there we have it. Um, I still have to do a couple more experiments with that. Um, like I said, I did save some contacts, so we will dive into other methods with that. But as of right now, I'm still liking the hydrochloric potassium nitrate wave better. Um, yeah, you, you avoid the whole sulfuric acid deal. The reaction when you put more potassium nitrate in the hydrochloric isn't isn't anything crazy. Like, uh, at least compared to putting sulfuric into hot, you know, dang near boiling water, not a good idea. I, I would not recommend doing that. Um, I don't even know how you would have to add that safely. Like, you would have to... Hmm. I don't think there's a safe way to do that, to be honest. I mean, it's you'd have to let it cool, and and then that's just going to take a lot more time. So, 
for the sake of safety, I think the uh, the hydrochloric boil or the yeah hydrochloric boil with the potassium nitrate is the way to go. Now, if we could come up with a weight, which is hard because the silver, the copper, and the brass all require different amounts of uh, basically nitric to be made to dissolve. It would be really hard to say, hey, we have this much weight in contacts. We need this much sulfuric, this much distilled water, and this much potassium nitrate. I think that'd be really hard to, to keep track as where the hydrochloric potassium nitrate method, or the poor man's AR, you dump it in there and let it ride until uh, your base metals are gone. And what I found out is that if you leave just a tiny bit of copper left over, um, you don't get the silver chloride. So if you could time it and you just keep an eye on your contacts, um, where if there's just a minimal amount of copper left over, we're not touching the silver and we're not producing silver chloride, which is also a plus. You said if it's like a gram or two that you got to dissolve with the nitric, that's not, you know, that's not the end of the world at all. But all right. I hope you guys had a great new year's. I know I did. Um, my birthday is next, well, this Friday, it's coming up. But I went out with my family um, Saturday, and then, of course, New Year's was uh, Sunday. So I was on baby duty. I let the wife and uh, my, my mom go crazy. So it was pretty uh, pretty quiet, which was actually really nice, you know. Um, the house was quiet as a church mouse. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.